What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We're back in the kitchen and we're about to do something anabolic. No, we're not going to take illicit supplements and we're not going to watch a Dr. Greg video, although that is very anabolic. What we are going to do is make homemade protein bars. No bake, cookie dough. Did I mention no bake? Seriously, these are going to be not only delicious, but super simple. Uh, really, anybody can do it. And I mean you. Get up off your butt, go to the store, grab these ingredients, come home and make this because your whole family is going to thank you, your waistline is going to thank you, and your gains are going to thank you. That's a whole lot of thanks, and we can all use a little appreciation. So if you guys are ready to get another epic recipe video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Not gonna lie, I was feeling some type of way that we were gonna be enjoying some cookie dough goodness and my puppy wasn't gonna be able to. So while I was at the store, we got him something. Come on, this won't take long, come on. Three dog bakery cookies. Let's grab him one, baby. Oh, Logan. Hey, bed, look what I got ya. You want a cookie bed? Take it. It's yours, bed. Come on. Enjoy that cookie bed. Well, now I feel like a good dad. It's always a good feeling. Now, before we get to combining these ingredients and making these epic protein bars, I do have a sponsor for today's video, so here's a word from them. Not sure if you guys realize this, but uh, I'm an avid gamer. I game on every platform. Heck, on Xbox, I have over 150,000 gamer score. But I'm not here to flaunt numbers. That's not what I'm about. What I am about, though, is giant robot action. And with War Robots, the hottest mech robot PvP action game available on phones, you can dive right in there with me. You're not just playing as a machine, but you're a pilot inside the machine. You have heart, you have honor, you got morals and integrity, and it's up to you to pilot your robot to victory. There's over 61 different robots. Some are big, some are strong, like my buddy Ank. Some are small and nimble, a little shredded, like me. Your robots can also be customized with different skins, kind of like a paint job for a car, man. You can make them look dope. So go down to the link in my description and grab this game and when you do that, you're gonna get a bonus. You'll get a Gareth robot with a unique skin, a full set of weapons, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. You can't beat that, man. I love free stuff. Always have, always will. You will also get an extra bonus, a cool robot and a legendary pilot on levels 10 and 23 if you download the game between now and May 21st. Don't lose your chance, baby. Now let's take a look at some of this epic gameplay. You can really see how crazy you can get with designing your robot with advanced weaponry, upgraded movement, a fresh paint job, man. Whip your robot around and stuff. Style. Fast and frantic six on six PVP action. You can really show them who the boss is. Now, I don't know about you, but I love being the boss. Wide variety of maps to choose from with different locations, so you always have something new to look at, and you'll constantly have to switch up your tactics due to the varying terrain. This game is gorgeous. Whew, I'm heating up after that. That was intense. So go check out this game. Link in my description. You're going to get some cool rewards, and you might just have a little bit of fun. Thank you to War Robots for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to the content. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we need a food scale. We need to weigh out and measure every ingredient or else we don't know what we're putting in our bodies. And not knowing what you're putting in your body, well, that's what got us all here in the first place, ain't it? So you wanna make sure you're weighing and measuring. In our large mixing bowl, the first thing we need is 128 grams of sunflower butter. You might be asking, Graham, why not peanut butter? Why not almond butter? And to be honest, that's perfectly fine to use. It's just if you want that cookie dough flavor, sunflower butter tends to have like the least taste, if that makes sense, or it tastes the most like cookie dough. So this is gonna really give it that cookie dough flavor without like having the peanut flavor in there. You know what I mean? That almond flavor. Dad always said, you never wanna taste the nuts. And boom, 128. Now we wanna put in 192 grams of liquid egg whites. Boom, 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 boom. And got him. Next, we add 186 grams of protein powder. It ends up being about six scoops. I'm using plain vanilla, Optin Nutrition Gold Standard. Really use any flavor you want, but vanilla is gonna be the most neutral. It's gonna make this taste the most like chocolate chip cookie dough. So that's why we're doing it or else I'd be using Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. If I wasn't making this recipe, I'd be using that. And seriously, if all you got is peanut butter at the house, you don't wanna get sunflower butter, just use that if you don't mind the flavor, man. There's no rules to this game, man. Anything goes. Let's see if we can speed this up a bit. All right, well, looks like we're a little short. Guess I am gonna have to add some Final Boss. Available on FinalBossCormers.com, Amazon.com with free two-day shipping. Boom. And there we go. Now we wanna throw in just a little bit of salt and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract extract, which is two of these little guys I got 
our right shear. Boom. Now we need 80 grams of oat flour. And what you do, I buy quick oats and I throw them in the blender and I create my own oat flour. It's way cheaper. You ain't paying that premium. But just use oat flour if you got it or you just do it my way. Doesn't really matter. So this is my oat flour, 80 grams pre-weighed. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there. Boom. Now we're gonna add a little sweetener. Shout out to Dr. Greg for the recommendation. We got some Vita Fiber. We're gonna use about 30 grams. Gonna add a lot of fiber to this. The more fiber you eat, the more full you feel, the less likely you are to binge. Weighing it out, boom, 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 25. There goes 30. I'm also gonna use a few little Splenda knockoff packets as well, zero calories. Just make it sweeter overall, because the sweeter the better, am I right? Right, boys? Boom, perfect. And finally, we add in 30 grams of sugar-free Hershey's chocolate chips. The less sugar, the better, am I right? Boom, boom, boom. Just sprinkle them in there. Almost, and 30. So at this point, we have everything we need in this bowl. All we gotta do is mix it. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to mix something like this by hand, but let me tell you, I hope you planned on hitting arms because that, my friends, is a workout. So if all you got is your hands, mix it all up by hand, but I don't recommend that. If you got a hand mixer, food processor, anything else you can mix it with, transfer it to that and do it because you really want this to be super mixed. Obviously, we're making protein bars, so you wanna make sure your ingredients are as dispersed as possible, that way everyone's as even calorically as it can be, but also you want all the ingredients to incorporate as well as you can, which is why I'm using a hand mixer. So let's go ahead and start transferring. I'm gonna spray my mixing bowl with some nonstick spray, and I'm gonna transfer it over to this. Just gonna make it way easier, man. Like I said, you do not wanna mix this by hand. That's just torture. Come on, you squirrely. Make sure we get it all, man. We accounted for it, we're gonna eat it. Mixer in position, drop it down in, let her ride. And boom, look how thick that is, man. That's the consistency we want for our protein bar. See how it's like barely falling? It's like stuck. Yeah, perfect execution, man. You could legit eat it like this and it tastes just like cookie dough, to be honest. But that's not what we're doing. So now, let's make our bars. Now we wanna grab a small square baking dish or really something that's square besides you. Uh, got him. We're gonna put some parchment paper down in it. That'll have to do. Now we wanna take our thick batter and put it right down in here. It's gonna be super sticky, I'm warning you ahead of time. Here's some more, come on. Let's use a dual approach. There we go, nice. Another big heaping helping. Ooh, this is thick too, boy. Ooh, I think that's the last of it. Like wrestling a squid. All right, now we're gonna go in and attempt to flatten this thing out. This is the stickiest thing I've ever dealt with. Voila, this is what it should look like. You wanna evenly coat it in like a square, that way we can cut it into bars once it's fully done. But it's not done yet. Now that we got it this far, we need to throw it in the fridge to chill overnight because it's way too sticky right now. You do not wanna try to cut this. You don't wanna try to store this. We gotta let it cool, we gotta let it firm up. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge. You could probably get away with a few hours, but I'm just gonna throw it in there. I got some other stuff I'm gonna do. After this firms up, we'll cut it into bars and uh, give her a taste test and see how she turned out. Woo. Toss that in there, close that up, hold on. Say goodbye to him, Logan. Smash that thumbs up button for Logan. <laughs> we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is 9 a.m. the following day, in case uh, you couldn't tell by the change of attire. Now, I was paying attention to these bars in the fridge last night. You could really, honestly, probably just give them a few hours in the fridge, and they're gonna lose a lot of that crazy stickiness that makes them hard to work with. But overnight, I feel like it's, it's just gonna make this way easier. Come on. Grab our bar tray and remove the paper. Whoop. Boom. So we fold the paper back and we have a nice firm bar. Overnight really did it wonders. Now we wanna cut this thing into eight bars. If you wanted to, you could weigh this out and then try to weigh every bar, but I know what's in this and I know that if I eat them all and I account for them all, it's all gonna even out at the end of the day really. So I'm not that worried about it. We're just gonna eyeball it. So let's go right down the middle. Looks about even to me. Boom, nice. Look at that right there, man. Look how much that firmed up or what we were working with earlier. Perfect. Now let's do it this way, right here. Boom, right here. And and right here, solid. Once you get your bars all cut up, what we wanna do now is grab them. Be careful, because they're definitely still a little sticky. Place them on some parchment paper, and we're gonna go ahead and roll them up. Boom, boom, boom. Fold it over under, and perfect. And once you have them all individually wrapped, put them in a Tupperware container, we're gonna pop a lid on her and throw them in the freezer. You didn't think we'd come all this way without me trying one, did you? Don't worry, we gonna get it. Before I try it, let me break down the macros, right? In one of these bars, if you split it into eight bars now, you could do 10, right? If you wanted a little less cow, 
calories, you can do six, but a little more. However you wanna do it, man, world's your oyster. But as it sits, eight bars, each one has 270 calories, 10.5 grams of fat, 25 grams of protein, 18.5 grams of carbs with seven grams of fibers. You want a bar that's really gonna fill you up? This is it here, man. I'm gonna give you a little tip, man. This is definitely the type of bar you wanna freeze because these are so messy. Once they freeze, you don't really gotta worry about it. You can eat it like a lollipop. But as it sits right now, man, these are definitely uh, some gooey guys. No doubt about that. And after you take them out of the fridge and they sit out for a while, they tend to, you know, get even more sticky. Here we go. I'm gonna rate it on how it tastes, on the texture, and we're gonna see if it tastes like cookie dough. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. First things first, definitely tastes like cookie dough. Definitely. Really chewy. I got a chocolate chip in there, a nice little chocolate chip flavor. Mmm, wow. That's so good. I feel like I'm like cheating on my diet right now. Mmm, that is killer. Messy when it's not frozen, but killer. Holy cow. Woo! Gotta give this one a try. Thing is, if it's this good raw, I bet you frozen, mmm, she's a game changer. Seriously, give this one a shot. It's easy to make, easy to do. Get some protein power, sunflower butter, a couple extra things, and you're in there. If you try it, you won't regret it, I promise. Your hands might be a little sticky, but you won't regret it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Comment anything down below. Comments help the algorithm. Thumbs up help the algorithm. So if you want to support the channel in any way, do that for me, because it means the world. If you're new to this whole building muscle, losing fat thing, you don't really know where to start, you don't understand the food skill, what to weigh, how to weigh it, what to eat. Look no further than my site. I can make you a meal plan that is so easy to follow. All you gotta do is just do it. That's it. You do what I lay out and I guarantee results. It's that easy. So check out my site if you're interested. Appreciate all you guys watching. Lots more videos coming soon. And until uh, next time, guys, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys.